Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have learned how to mock the HTTP client service we have seen. Now in this video, we will see about the another testing module that is HTTP client testing module that Angular team gives to us in order to do the perfectly mock this HTTP client service. Let's try to see this one, how we can do it. So for this one, I am creating a separate thing new file HTTP client I will show you how we can do with this one so that we will understand how we can do it. So here I am creating HTTP client spec dot testing dot spec dot ts I am creating like this ok so now describe I am creating a test suite so here we will be checking the demonstration of the HTTP client testing module HTTP client testing module so now here we will be having like this now let's try to implement the before each method so right now we are not testing any services directly we are testing the HTTP client service itself instead of testing the post service we are directly testing the HTTP client service so how the HTTP client performs let's try to see so now here before each so we need to create the test bed testbed dot configure client testing module and here normally when you want to perform the HTTP client request what you will try to do you will import the HTTP client module right so what it will try to do so I will show you what it will try or it will do so HTTP client module okay so we have injected the HTTP client module so we this is the module so this module contains the HTTP client service and the HTTP client service requires that dependency injector of HTTP backend handler. So this HTTP backend handler is responsible for making the request, HTTP request. So whenever you import, so for example, let's say that let HTTP client is equal to HTTP client. So I am taking this HTTP client. Okay. So now I want to have this one. So here I will try to create HTTP client is equal to. So I want to get the instance of this HTTP client so I can do the inject of HTTP client so this service is present in this HTTP client module and whatever the dependencies responsible for this HTTP client as, as I already told you right HTTP backend handler these are all the things automatically this will be injected from the client module now for example let's try to say we have a URL something like let's try to check So now what we have got, we have got the HTTP client service and now using this HTTP client service, we can make the HTTP calls. So for this one, let's take the test URL. So something, whatever the test URL we want, we can take it. So just I am keeping it as slash data or something like that. Now I want to make this test URL. So now it should, should call the test URL with get request, right? So this is the first one I want to make it. So now how we can call this one test URL. So HTTP client okay dot get of test URL. So this one is the thing. So test URL. Let's assume that this test URL emits a data something like let's see uh, data. It emits a data. It has only the name of type string. So this is of type and here this this one will get of type data okay so now we have called the test url okay we have called the test url with get request let's try to see this one so if i try to test it here so here everything got success and here it is telling http client testing module so where is this one we are getting cannot find name in the http client testing http client testing module so let's try to see it sorry it has rerun again so everything got success now let's try to see the specs here if i try to see the spec let's go to the console and here i have we let's try to refresh it again if i try to refresh it again reload now here all the test has been called but we are not calling this data url what is that one test url why because here if you try to observe so now we are using the actual HTTP client and we are calling this get data, but we haven't subscribed. 
whenever we have subscribed to this HTTP client only, then only the actual call will be made. So now dot subscribe of data. So keep it like this, or otherwise we can do just subscribe also. Okay, now let's try to see the output. If I try to see the output, here see a request has been made. Okay, a request has been HTTP failure response. So it, it is trying to make a request to the some test URL and it is telling that 404004. Fine. So now you need to understand what I want to tell you is here, whenever we are using this HTTP client module, HTTP client, whenever we try to make the get request, the it is the HTTP client is actually making the real get request. Okay, it is actually making the real requ get request. If you use this HTTP client module in the testing cases, so it will use the resources. So because of that reason, what we need to do, we need to use the so Angular ships us with a another client module that is nothing but HTTP client testing module. So this HTTP client testing module, if you import here, okay. So let's try to import HTTP client testing module. So we don't have here testing module, right? So let's try to use this one. So this HTTP, I'm removing this HTTP client module and this one will come import HTTP client testing. So here I will keep something like at the rate angular slash common slash HTTP slash testing, right? So testing. So it comes from here HTTP client so here, so okay, this is the wrong spelling import, import and here I can write HTTP client testing module. So I am importing this HTTP client testing module and here I can use this HTTP client testing module here, sorry. So instead of using this actual HTTP client module, I am using this HTTP client testing module. So in this HTTP client testing module, we have an HTTP client, but here it will, it is this HTTP client needs a dependency injector of HTTP backend. So this HTTP client testing module will inject the HTTP testing backend handler. So that means it will also have the get request and all those things, but it will simulate the request that has been sent, but it will not actually send the request. Now, if you try to see the output here, so now if I try to do it, refresh it. Okay. So now here, so everything test has been passed and here you may be, you will be able to see and here the data, the actual client request that has not been sent. So HTTP client has not been sent. And here you'll be able to see that spec has no expectation should call the test URL with get request. Now it is, it is the HTTP client is pretending that actually it has been sent the call to that slash data, but it didn't actually send the call. So it has simulated this one. Now what we need to do, we need to test this one. So actually it has, so now what we need to test this one. This call has been made only once or not. So what is the request? It has been made the get request or not. These type of assertions we need to test it so that we can make sure that HTTP client has been successfully sent with the required details. So now how we can test those things? So now we need to test it that actually it has been made get request or not. We need to test it. And also another one what we need to test it is this HTTP client actually made single request or not. We need to check. So this type of requests, all those things we need to check it. For those type of things, we need another controller that is nothing but HTTP testing controller. So let's try to check out this HTTP testing controller in the next video. Hope you understood about this one HTTP client testing module, why we need why we need to use this HTTP client testing module. In the next video, you'll see about this HTTP testing controller. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.